Hey guys, this is Vadim with MaxTech, and what I have right here is the iPad Air 4 from Apple. We just got it on Friday, and we're gonna be comparing it to Samsung's Galaxy Tab S7. This guy right here is $600 for the iPad Air and $650 for the Tab S7 right now. So in this video, we're gonna be comparing everything between the design, the displays, the display quality, the speakers, the cameras, microphones, everything you can imagine. So we can give you an answer on which one you should be buying in 2020. What I have right here are the official cases and the pencils for each of these devices. They're actually swapped, but I'm gonna be getting into these a little bit later, but first let's start with the design. By far the best thing about the iPad Air 4 is that it's taking on the design of the iPad Pro or the 2018 iPad Pro because we have that single camera lens right here. We've got flat sides all the way around, which is a really nice and modern design. That's exactly how the iPhone 12 series is, and honestly, I really, really love this design. And of course, the Tab S7 also got the design from the 2018 iPad Pro. It kind of copied it. You've got the flat sides, and I think it actually has the film still on here, so I'm gonna take that off. So now that we got the film off, you can see that we have like this brushed finish on the sides of the Samsung, and they do take in fingerprints quite a bit more than the iPad Air because this is aluminum, so it's nice and matte. It's not very slick, but yeah, this is the design from the 2018 iPad Pro. The 2020 actually has a square camera bump with the ultra-wide lens and the LiDAR scanner, which the Air does not have. However, the Tab S7, as you guys can see right here, it does get the ultra-wide camera, so we're gonna be testing that in just a second. Comparing the size, you can definitely tell that the iPad Pro is a little bit wider than the Tab S7, but the Tab is actually a little bit taller, so they have different aspect ratios. And in comparison with thinness, it looks very, very similar. However, if I'm looking very closely, I think the Tab S7 is a little bit more thick. Now getting into the other physical differences, we do have four speaker grills on both sides. So on the iPad Air, we have two on the top. Tab S7, same thing. And on the bottom, we have two there as well. However, the iPad Air only has dual speakers. It doesn't have quad speakers like the Tab S7 has. So we're definitely gonna have to test that out. The iPad Air has the pencil connector right here on the side, just like the iPad Pro does. So let me grab that pencil really quick. As you guys can see, pencil right here, magnetically attaches right on the side. This is actually pretty nice and it automatically charges, connects, everything like that. And with the Tab S7, simply just snaps in right there on the back, this little plastic or glass piece, I'm not sure, but very nice. Now we'll get into the performance of these a little bit later. On the bottom, we have USB Type-C on both of these tablets, which is the best connector for a tablet for sure. Now the final difference I wanna get into is Touch ID or the fingerprint sensor. Now, both of these tablets have that. That's really unique about the iPad Air 4. It's basically the first iPad to have Touch ID in the power button right here. And they totally just redesigned this. They've never had a power button Touch ID like this before. Of course, they had it on the home button, which was on the front, and it looked pretty bad. Of course, now we're saying that, but yeah, this has it on the front and the Tab S7 has it right here on the side. So let's test out which one works better or faster. Let's first start off with the iPad Air. Okay, there you go, just locked me in automatically. That's what's nice about the power button Touch ID is that you can turn on the display and unlock it at the same time. Now, the only downside I see about this compared to the iPad Pro, which has Face ID is I'm used to tapping the display and swiping up to unlock because Face ID happens automatically. This does not have that. You have to use the Touch ID. Now let's try out the tab. Has it right here. Look at that. Try it again. All right, I have to say the tab is faster. I don't know if it's the animations, but it gets you in almost instantly. So I think the tab is the winner for the fingerprint scanner comparison. Now let's go ahead and compare the displays on both of these. 
As you guys can see, we have rounded corners, which is really nice and modern, but if you look at them more closely, it looks like the bezels on the iPad Air are quite a bit more thick than the ones on the Tab S7. So we did compare it to the iPad Pro and you can easily tell the difference there as well. So the Tab S7 has, I guess, a better looking display with thinner bezels. Now, one thing I did notice is that the Tab S7's display looks gray right now. Like, I don't know if it's the reflections, but the iPad Air has a very deep black display. Like everything looks very black compared to this looks kind of gray. So I think the coatings maybe are better on the iPad Air. Now in terms of reflectivity, oh yeah. The Tab S7 right now looks like a mirror. I can see our microphone right above very clearly compared to the iPad Air, it's all kind of soft. It's not as reflective, so there's another point for the iPad Air. And now let's compare the maximum brightness of both of these displays. As you can see, I have it maxed out on the Air and the Tab S7. True Tone is off, and it looks to me, it looks to me like the Tab S7 is brighter, honestly. And if I lift it up, point it towards that camera, you guys let me know which one is brighter, but to me it definitely looks like the Tab is brighter, and the iPad Air's display looks very cool right now with True Tone off, so that's very, very interesting. Now let's get into the display quality, and as you guys can see, we have a display P3 color game at test, and you guys should be seeing the WebKit logo on the iPad Air, but you don't see it on the Tab S7. I guess it can't do P3 colors. I've been testing it out, and nothing, nothing showing up. Now, the reason for that is because the Tab S7, at least the regular one, no longer gets an AMOLED display. Only the S7 Plus gets that display. Now, the nice thing is that it does have 120 hertz refresh rate, and we're gonna get into that in just a minute. All right, guys, now this is interesting. I turned on an 8K HDR video, and the Tab S7 has controls for HDR, but it can go up to 1440p. The iPad Air, on the other hand, does not get HDR, but it gets 4K resolution, which is very interesting. That's awesome. So let's let these play and compare the quality. As you guys can see, even though the Tab S7 gets an HDR option, the iPad Air just looks so much better. The colors pop more. It actually looks brighter, even though it doesn't have HDR. And because the display has better coatings, where it's deeper, you got deeper blacks, Everything actually looks better. There's more contrast, and the image on the iPad Air is just killing the image on the Tab S7. Now let's finally get into the 60 hertz versus 120 hertz display refresh rate comparison. Obviously the iPad Air gets 60 hertz instead of the iPad Pro's 120. That's a big downside that it does not get ProMotion, and that's a huge upside for the Tab S7, as you guys can see right here on the display. With adaptive, you're getting up to 120 hertz refresh rate. So let's go ahead and compare it. Now you guys are looking at slow motion clips from the top camera, and as you guys can see, swiping left and right through the home screens, the Tab S7 is just so much more smooth. And then also while going through a web browser page, you can just see how much smoother the Tab S7 is, and this is actually gonna make it feel more snappy. It's gonna make it feel like it has a lot more performance, which we're actually gonna be testing a little bit later. And of course, the display refresh rate also impacts the performance of the pencils. So the S Pen, because of the 120 hertz, it gets a latency as low as nine milliseconds. So what you guys are seeing right now is a slow motion 120 FPS comparison so let me know down in the comments below if you can notice a difference in latency and if the S Pen looks more smooth. And now let's finally get into the speaker comparison between these two quad speakers on the Tab S7, dual speakers on the iPad Air. Now I do wanna mention I have Dolby Atmos on on the Tab S7, so you guys always ask about that. Let's get right into it. All right, so you guys just heard that. Let me know what you think down below, but to me, the Tab S7 is the clear winner. It killed it in everything. Volume, bass, mids, highs, everything. The quad speakers destroy the iPad Air, and I think Samsung has been killing it 
in the speaker game for a couple of years now. Now let's get into the camera comparison. I'm gonna be starting off with a selfie. Now let me know which one of these selfies look better down in the comment section below. And in just a minute, I'm gonna be doing a webcam and microphone test as well. Now on the back, of course, the Tab S7 has a leg up on the iPad Air because the iPad only has one main wide shooter compared to the Tab, which has an extra ultra wide camera. So I'm gonna show you guys some photos right here. Let me know which one you think is better, which quality looks better, and of course, how that ultra wide lens looks. Let's now get into performance with Geekbench 5. The iPad Air has four gigs of RAM compared to six on the Tab S7, so there's a pretty big advantage there if you're doing multitasking. But right now, let's get into the CPU benchmark. All right, we have our scores, and this is just Insane, it's ridiculous. Both of these tablets have, I guess, the best of the best, the latest processors. We have the A14 Bionic on the iPad Air that also comes on the iPhone 12 lineup. Very, very fast. And we have the Snapdragon 865 Plus, the best of the best for Android. And looking at these scores, I mean, the single core score on the iPad Air is the best score we have ever seen on any device, any computer. It's insane, just about 1600 points compared to 971 on the Tab S7. And then in terms of multi-core performance, we're getting about 33% more performance with the iPad Air compared to the Tab S7. That's, that's just insane. All right now, because Geekbench isn't that good for comparing the graphics performance, I have GFX Bench right here. We have Metal on the iPad Air and we have both OpenGL and Vulkan, two different tests with two different architectures on the Tab S7. Let's go ahead and compare them. We got our graphics results right here. We have the iPad Air on the bottom, the Tab S7 on the top, and I don't know if you guys can see it that well from the top camera, but 23 FPS with both Vulkan and OpenGL for the Tab S7, 39.5 FPS for the iPad Air. That's getting close to double the graphics performance. That's just insane. Now we did do a gaming comparison between the Tab S7 and the iPad Pro already, and the Tab S7 performed very well, surprisingly well for not having that high of graphics performance. Definitely check that video out after this one is over. Now if you're wondering why Apple gave the iPad Air the same design as the iPad Pro, it's because of this. It's the Magic Keyboard case. Because Apple is able to support the Magic Keyboard case with the iPad Air, they're able to sell more of them. This is $300. This is very expensive. Now, the downside is the finish because we actually have like a little scuff or something right here. That kind of sucks, but it is definitely the best keyboard case we've used on any tablet, any device, because you literally just plop it on just like that and you see the square camera bump. That's for the iPad Pro. That way it's able to support both of these, the Air and the Pro, and this is awesome. Just having this floating design, it's incredible with the adjustable hinge. You close it down like that, opens up. I mean, I love it. The only downside is that you have Touch ID now on the left side, so you kind of have to reach over with your finger. Definitely not as good as Face ID. Now on the other hand, we have the keyboard case for the Tab S7. This thing is actually $200 instead of $300, and it is on sale on Amazon, so definitely check the link below for that price. But what I really love this year is that instead of sticking it onto the back of the Tab S7, it uses magnets, finally. Just like the iPad Pro and the iPad Air, uses magnets, bam, it's on. And I also really love this little flap that protects the pencil, the S Pen, unlike on the iPad Air where it's basically naked, it can fall off, this actually protects it. And the major upside for the Tab S7 is that the keyboard is detachable. So you literally just plop it on, there you go, you have the kickstand. It's not as convenient as the Magic Keyboard, there's no kickstand, it just happens with the crazy good hinge, but it's definitely pretty nice. Now there are some major differences with these keyboard cases in terms of the keyboard typing feel, the trackpads, the features like the extra USB-C port for power on the Magic Keyboard, but I'm not gonna get in depth with that in this video. If you wanna see that, I actually compared the iPad Pro with the Tab S7 already in a different video. Definitely check that out because there are some very interesting differences, especially since you have Dex mode 
on the Tab S7, and that mode is just incredible for productivity and multitasking. Now, with that said, there is a major downside for the iPad Air. The webcam, when you're using it with the Magic Keyboard, it's actually on the left side, right here. While the Tab S7, Samsung actually thought it through because it's on the side, but when you're using it with the keyboard case, it's perfectly in the center, just like it would be with a laptop, and that gives you a different perspective. Let me show you guys what I mean. This is a webcam and microphone quality test using the Tab S7, and as you can see, I'm looking down at myself and it looks pretty normal, just like a laptop would look. And here we are on the iPad Air. As you can tell, it looks really weird because I'm looking off to the side because the webcam is right there on the side of the iPad Air. That's really weird, and I can tell that it's a little bit more cropped in, definitely more cropped in, but you guys let me know how the microphone quality is and the video quality of the webcam is down below. Now, before I give my final thoughts on these two tablets and which one is better, I do wanna go over some specs and pricing. As I told you guys before, the iPad Air starts at $600. However, you only get 64 gigabytes of storage. With the Tab S7, you get 128 gigs for $650. So just 50 bucks more, but you get more storage, which is very nice. Of course, you get six gigs of RAM compared to four gigs with the iPad Air. And if you match both of these up with 256 gigabytes of storage, the iPad Air becomes $750, and the Tab S7 is actually $730, so it is less expensive. On top of that, it comes with the S Pen included compared to the Apple Pencil second gen, which is $130. So it's more expensive if you want the full package, especially if you're trying to get a keyboard case, which is $200 or on sale and $300 for the Magic Keyboard. So with both of these, you're definitely getting a less expensive package with the Tab S7. You're getting a lot more value. Now let's finally answer the question, which tablet should you be buying in late 2020? Honestly, if you want more value, just go with the Tab S7 because you're getting that 120 hertz display that helps for the S Pen, that helps for gaming. Gaming performance is still great. Even though the actual raw performance is better on the iPad Air, it's still just fine on this tablet. With this being limited to 60, it's kind of a little bit disappointing and the value just isn't as good as the Tab S7. Now, on the other hand, there is the difference of software. And the iPad Air obviously gets iPad OS. It's very reliable. You get very good resale value, which you don't really get with Android tablets. So if you don't really care about the software, if you don't care about having iPad OS or Android, definitely go for the Tab S7. But if you like the Apple software, I would still say that the iPad Air is a better choice, but just in terms of usability, value, I've got to give the crown to the Tab S7. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoy this video. And if you guys want to check out those differences with the keyboard cases or the gaming performance, we have both of those videos right over there with the iPad Pro. Definitely watch those videos. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and tap the like button, click the circle above to subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.